This is a PowerPoint on the League of Evil. Starting with Madame Lazul. She has the least amount of cards of any of the leaguers with only one. Uh, her initial teasing was in a cinematic, so it, a lot of people might not know where she came from compared to the others, unlike having cards as the, all the others. And she's probably one of the worst. She was pretty okay in Wild for a little while. You'd run it in Thief, Reno Priest. Not amazing. It was definitely like a 30th card in those decks, and she wasn't really that great in, stand in her time in Standard. Uh, she is in the core set, so she sometimes sees play there, but nothing crazy. Not much to say about her because, of course, she is only one card. Then you have Togwaggle, which is the second least, with two cards. Both of these cards were very strong, though. You would have, of course, Lackey Rogue, different kinds of rogues like that. They are very, very powerful using Togwaggle, of course, to get the different rewards. One of the best options was Wondrous Wand into Leroy, and then you would have a Zero Metal Leroy, Bounce it with Waggle Pick, which also came out this expansion, and it was a very, very strong combo. It actually is part, most partly the reason why Leroy was rotated to the Hall of Fame. Uh, King Tog Waggle, of course, saw a lot of different play in different Druid decks and in Questline Demon Hunter. Very, very powerful. And of course, the treasures are the ones from Marin the Fox and Cobbles and Catacombs. Then you have Rafam. Rafam has three cards, so he's tied for the second most. And he is the creator of the League, actually. He gathered them all together. And I want to give a correction to the last video where I was talking about the League of Explorers. Of course, I was going to talk about Rafam in that video as well. But Rafam actually was... Or Archville and Rafam was actually better than I knew about. I completely missed the fact that he was on Viper's team when he got second place at the 2019 Worlds. I completely forgot about that. So, of course, you know, Rafam is a good card. Uh, Archville and Rafam, good card. Uh, and King Rafam, of course, still a very powerful meta-relevant card. And Arch Thief Reform still sucked. <laughs> then you have Hagatha the Witch. Hagatha the Witch has the most in theme of all of the uh, League of Evil across all of her three cards. They all have to do with generating spells or spells from minions. Uh, of course, the hero power of the hero card is whenever you play a minion, get a spell. So it fits in theme with the other two very well. Uh, none of the other ones have reoccurring themes like that. It's kind of weird. But yeah, Hagatha, pretty decent card overall. Hagatha the Witch saw a lot of play while she was in Standard. Hagatha the Fable is seeing play now. And then Swap King, Queen Hagatha, I mean, it's seven mana. It's never going to have seen play. I don't really have much to say about it because it's not like anything truly crazy came out of these cards. Uh, especially since, you know, F Hagatha the Fable is new. Then you have Dr. Boom. He has the most amount of cards with four. He's super iconic. He's easily the best of all the League of Evil because uh, Dr. Boom was a very, very meta-defining card in the early days of Hearthstone. Everyone knows that. Uh, Dr. Boom, that genius, was also incredibly powerful its entire time in Standard. It eventually got nerfed to 9 mana, and it was still pretty good. Uh, and then Doctor or Blastmaster Boom was also very good in Standard. Inventor Boom, as far as I know, is okay in Standard. It's nothing crazy, but if we get more mech support, it'll probably be much better. It just came out as well. That being said, if you enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think down below. Do you like these more historic videos where I'm going in the depths of, you know, how these cards were played in the past? The storyline about the League of Evil versus the League of Explorers is so awesome to me. I hope that we get more like it. They tried to redo a, re a full year storyline with the Mercenaries, but that flopped. Not really because the storyline was terrible. It was fine, but mainly because of the terrible balance of those expansions. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, so Darker than they've ever been. Ah!